welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. You're Sambo Seraphis, and joining us as always is Tallahassee. The, oh, oh, you've got a different, a different title this time, Sheriff of Rock Ridge. What happened to your base jumper? And good evening to you. I changed it. You did. Uh, You're trying to trip me up, aren't you? There was that, but also I'd <laughs> been watching Firefly again. You've been and watching. That always feels like a western. I 100% agree with you, and I dare say that all of our viewers. And by the way, welcome to this week's episode, guys and gals. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that Firefly is a western in space? Because that's how I like to describe it, and obviously the same with Tallahassee. You know what? That's a really cool one. Hang on. Remind us again how we change our titles, because I want to be all Western tonight as well. All I can remember is that we go into the character sheet, I think, but where do we go from there? Yep, so you go into the character sheet, and then you go to... Oh, God, titles. Oh, God, it's right down. Oh, I can't believe it. There it is right there. Oh, silly me. Okay, let's have a look here, because we've racked up quite a few now. And let's see, I've got Kane's Fist... I've got Honorary Waykeeper, I've got the Town Crier, the Ironclad, oh gosh, Novice Angler, oh god, I've got to do a bit more fishing too, and let's see, there it is, Sheriff of Rock Ridge, is that what my name says now? Yes. Alright, there we are, yeehaw, go ram it, go ram it, as Mel would say, by the way folks, let us know in the comments below who is, and this is a really rough tough question because if anyone asked me I don't know what I'd say who is your favorite character from Firefly or Serenity so uh, and in fact to help us along I'm going to ask that really nasty question to our wonderful friend here Tallahassee if you had to if you're absolutely forced to say who is your favorite character in Firefly what would you say oh god um I know it's like asking me to choose my favorite child if I had one <laughs> um <laughs> It is like that, isn't it? Go on, if you really, really God. had to. We won't hold you to it, but like if you were in a pinch, I mean, you know, would it be Jane? Would it be Would it be Kaylee? Would it be Mel? Would it be Wash? Would it be Zoe? Book? It's, Summer? Well, not Summer, River. No, it's, it's Wash. It's Wash. Is it because of the Hawaiian yeah, shirts? Yeah, how can you not? Well, there's that. It's also because when he was playing with the dinosaurs, that scene is hilarious. Oh, yes. Curse your sudden and inevitable betrayal. Arr! We will call this land, what, Tallahassee? This land. <laughs> That's the one. There we go. All right, I think we need to get off the Firefly trip. But go on, guys. Let us know what your favorite character is. And uh, by the way... Did you notice, and I think you sent this to me, Tallahassee, that at the most recent Comic-Con there was talk of, well, I'm not sure, there was definitely a panel, and you linked me that, and it was fantastic to see all the actors get back together again. But wasn't there talk of a reboot, or am I dreaming? Um, I didn't hear about a reboot, but I did hear them talking about Dr. Horrible 2. Oh, Oh, yes, because that's our other favourite show, isn't it? In fact, you know what? Quite often when Tallahassee and I go for brunch on our Saturday mornings, we'll be walking along the road and he'll just spontaneously break out into song. Normally it's, A man's gotta do what a man's got. Yeah. Now, come on, you can't deny that, can you? No, that that's actually my theme <laughs> in life. You know, I walk into a room that starts playing. <laughs> I love Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. You know what, if they make a part two, then I'm just going to be I'm going to be jumping for joy. I think what it boils down to, mate, is that we're just big Joss Whedon fans. And by the way, I can't remember exactly, but I saw a tweet going around today that he's been signed up, I think, and you might be able to correct me if I'm wrong, he's been signed up for part two of the Avengers. Do you know if that's true? Yeah, no, that's true. Oh. Uh, I believe in the deal that he originally signed. It was like a three-movie deal anyway, so... Oh, oh, that's that's all nothing but good. That is nothing but good. Good on you, Joss. In Joss, we trust. But do you know what? Enough of that. Enough of Joss. Although we could talk about it for the whole episode, I'm sure. And again, let us know, guys, if you're Joss Whedon fans and how far back you go as well. Did you used to watch Buffy back in the day? Or are you just recent fans of something like Angel or Firefly or Serenity or even The Avengers? Let us know. And speaking of you guys, just got one quick shout-out tonight. 
tonight and that is to Jacob Ruddy and they say hey can my character Chitai from the Thunder Down Under Guild please get a shout out. Now tell a of course you can. Big hello to you and thank you for your support but Thunder Down Under that sounds to me like an Australian guild. What do you reckon? That is an Australian guild and I was seeing people floating around from that guild earlier this evening uh, when I logged on to my other character, Northlander. Oh, there you go. So they're so even... a very active guild. Oh, well, big hello to you guys, by the way, from everyone at Seraphim. And obviously then they're on the server, right? Yeah, unless there's multiple chapters across multiple servers. Oh, it could well be. Big hello to you guys. And again, thank you very much for your support. If you guys would like a shout out, ooh, it's hard. All you need to do is ask. It's that simple. So here we are on our flash new mounts, as you can see. We're very lucky to have finally got these only 300 levels too late, but never mind. You know what, Tallahassee, I was looking at the map before, and I can see just up here, I'm going to mark it on the map and zoom in. This is one of the great things about the Rift map. Look at that, all the detail comes up to. We've got a hand in up there where I've just marked, but I'm also noticing where I'm putting another waypoint there, there appears to be a water invasion in between us and where we need to go to hand in. Are you keen to go along and give it a bit of a kick in the pants? What do you reckon? That's right. I mean, they're just little travellers. I mean, the actual foothold is over here, if you're looking at the map. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so that's not quite now. Oh, well, hey, I'm still up for kicking a bit of oh, water, on. but... There's one. Oh, yep, there it <laughs> is. <laughs> one. Oh, my Lord. Okay, all, all right. right, what do you say? Do you want to go kick some ass? All right, we'll do that. All right. After oh, you. We'll try. Yeah, well, well yeah. Try. I was going to say, rather than say we'll do it, let's at least try it. You know, the other thing I've noticed, it's always very dark when we play. It must be, I don't know, is, have we ever answered this question? Is the rift clock, as in the day night cycle? Oh, and by the way, don't forget, I'm on heels now, so you can afford to take a bit of damage. It's not too bad. Is the rift clock on real time, or is it on, like, you know, rift time? Did we ever find that out? I don't know. I don't think Simon ever actually answered that particular question. Yeah, there's something. Maybe one of you guys watching along from home might know. Let us know because I'd be dying to find out because it seems to me that we always sort of, well, we're always on at the same time, Tallahassee, and it's generally always pretty dark. So I'm just wondering if we're ever going to get a chance to log in one day when it's bright daylight. I mean, you know, unless we log in at a completely different time, of course. All right, there we go. Look at that. Look at that, Tallahassee takes it to them, and the invaders are defeated. Don't forget, folks, that if you're playing, or rather if you haven't played Rift before, what we're doing now is taking down, well, this is just a foothold, but it's all part of the Rift mechanic, i.e. the namesake of the game. And this is something that keeps the game very dynamic and exciting all the time. You're always trying to beat these... Well, I guess they're random invasions. And if we have a look at the map here, you'll see all of these little splotches. Look at these. These are the enemy, if you like. Not the opposite faction, but the enemy of Talara coming in and invading our world. And keep trying to beat them back. And remind us again, Tallahassee, what do we get as a reward for beating these things back? Um, generally, you'll well, actually you'll always get planarite. But right. sometimes oh. you'll get like a consumable. Uh, okay, and those consumables are good for different types of rifts that you'll come across. Um, and sometimes you'll also get items. Oh, cool, cool. Actually, there we are. Look, there's my bag, in fact. There we go. We got ourselves, you're right, planarite, 59 planarite there. We got planar dust for using in crafting, so there's a good one. We got perpetual pure source, and that reveals a random reward from the plane, so we can use that later. And we got ourselves a breaking tide stone there. And if we read its tooltip, it says we can equip that. Damaging spells have a chance to increase spell power by 20 for 20 seconds. So, like you say, Tallahassee, a whole bunch of useful stuff. So it's definitely worth doing those rifts. And correct me if I'm wrong, Tallahassee, but do we get XP for defeating the creatures at a foothold or a rift? Yeah, there's still enemies in the world. So you still get your normal XP reward as well. All right, so there's absolutely no reason whatsoever to avoid them, unless, of course, you're in a rush. All right, so seeing as we're here, let's have a chat to General Stanek, see what he's got ah, to say. To oh, it's a reward. And Tallahassee, by clicking on this, it's got that yellow sort of parchment background on the reward. If I remember what you told us a few episodes ago, that means it's a storyline quest, right? 
That's correct. All right, good, good. So it's good to see you again, Seraphis. Hmm, this hammer cannot be made stronger, I'm afraid. What you truly need now is some good old-fashioned allies. So you can see we're going to get a whole bunch of XP, some gold, and a thousand rep with the rune guard, all of which is more than welcomed. Yeah, there it is. Look, you can see, folks, it says story there just below the title. The drift of wind and tide spirits of our once great leaders walk the grounds of Hammernell Fortress. Corrupted by Regulus, their true selves would be restored by shining the light of the rune guide hammer upon them. If they join us, we will be ready to face Tide Lord Brennan. Okay, so basically we've got to activate the rune guard hammer by striking it upon the anvil of the hammer lords in Hammernell Fortress gosh and then shine its light upon the spirits of wardens Barkev, Ivaran and Kittle to pacify them hang on a second Tallahassee when it's talking about in Hamanel Fortress does that mean literally inside the raid or does it mean just inside the grounds that I can see behind us there it just means around the grounds. Oh, thank goodness for that. All right, we can accept that. Let's have a look at the map and see exactly where it is. And, oh, look at this. It's right there. Strike that. So I guess we're going to head up there and do this quest. We might as well, seeing as it's uh, close by. Yeah, run up the stairs, be like Rocky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's with all the songs in our Let's Plays? You know what? I blame you. I'm going to start calling you minstrel. We're very musical, you know that. Yeah, we are. We've been very musical of late. And by the way, I know for a fact that that is Tallahassee's thunder and lightning there. Tell us what that actually is because it's just amazing. It's an awesome effect. Um, there was a couple of spells in there, actually. Um, there was Creeping Death. And Weakening Essence. What, and that makes all those blue electricity sparkly effects, yeah? Yep. So okay. it just base Because I've put them all into one macro. Because ah, I'm lazy. Okay. So I can just spam, spam it off and it all fires off at once. You know what? That reminds me. Macros are another thing we've got to do one day. Okay, so there you go. You're obviously using the hammer, which you just do by right-clicking on it, I'm guessing. Strike the anvil of the hammer lords. And oh, I can see a sparkly shiny just over there too. By the way, now I wonder yep, if that's I have why to do I called that. them over. Yeah. Now, do I have to do that as well? Let's see. Oh no, it's got a tick beside mine as well, so that's counted for me. Now we have to use the Rune Guard Hammer on the three wardens. And by the way, folks, you can see it appearing here. Here's the hammer because it's a quest item that's just coming up in my tracker, so I can have easy access to it, which is great. Now, where's that shiny gone? All right. There it is. Is that a collectible? There. Oh, it's an artifact. Yes, it is. It's an artifact. But yeah, there's a big white blob in the way. I reckon you should grab him. Let's take him down. Because he's. He, I'm going to aggro no. him. You know I am. Or is that what you're counting on? <laughs> That's what I was counting on, actually. You were you were waiting for Had me to run drama. in there. I've learnt. I know better than to fall for your tricks and sorcery. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I don't. Because he still gets me in real life as well. As you can well imagine. He's toned down here in the game. He's ten times worse than this in real life. Trust me. All right, here we go. Let's loot that. Oh, do you want this, by the way? I'm being greedy. Would you like the artifact? No, it's yours. Oh, thank you very much. Here we go. It's yours. Take it. Take it. Nice. And we've got ourselves learn to walk home in the dark. Oh, and that's an artifact set. Excellent, excellent. All right, so if I look at the map, where's... There's another one up here if you want. Oh, is there? Another artifact? Yep. Gosh, you are, you are so good at spotting them. You've always had a really good nose for seeing these things. I would have completely missed that one. There we are. Rune of Heat. Yes, one my was. nose it's... sees things. Now, I can see on the map we've got one, two... Oh, so it's pointing out... There we go. Yep. Pointing out where these guys and gals are. So I'm guessing they're on the top. Yeah. Looks like they're up the top of these structures. Yep. So we'll try to fight our way up. Right. Without aggroing everything in the entire zone. Why do I get the feeling that was aimed at me? <laughs> Because that was aimed at you. Ah, well, that would be why I got that feeling then. <clears throat> Anyhow, d ignore him, folks. He he's just uh, hes just being nasty. As if I would do anything like that, maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's throw some heels on our good friend here. Now, how are you finding it with me being... At the moment. Well, yeah, is it any different with me being a Chloromancer, by the way? Like, I mean, the DPS is a lot um. lower. But you're, you're far more survivable now, right? Yeah, I mean, the build that I'm in anyway is 
pretty good in terms of survival. Right. Um, you in a tanky sort of build? Yeah. So it's um, well, it's actually just my normal tank spec. Um, it's one that I'd use for dungeon running. Ah, so. okay. Oh, so Warden Kettle is actually... Oh, I thought he was going to be friendly, but he's not very friendly at all. No, so you may want to try using the hammer now before he dies. Okay, here we go. Hammer, shining. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh smiting rather, not shining. There we go. Thank goodness for that. I'm glad you said that because, you know what, if I was doing this all on my own, I probably... <laughs> You just would have killed him. Yeah, I would have killed him. There we go. Oh, my eyes. And there we are. Okay, so you can see now we've got a tick beside use the rune guard hammer on Warden Kettle. So now we've got to get Burkev and Ivaran, I think. So I'm guessing one's over yeah. there in the other platform, yeah? That is correct. But before we do that, we have somewhere to be. Somewhere to be? Wait a minute. It looks like you're heading towards yep. Hammernell Fortress to me. What do you mean? Yep. Follow me. Really? I hate when you say follow me. I never know what's going to happen. You know what? Normally it's death. Normally death is what happens. <laughs> it's going to be bad things. Alright, let's toss some heals on Tallahassee. Because that's a whole bunch of mobs you got there. And by the way, that looks like an interesting mob. What is that? Corrupted Sentry. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Is that a new mob? Um... It's new for us in this zone. Right. But, yeah, we I don't think we've seen that character model yet. No. Yeah. This guy is a bit difficult. Isn't he? He can certainly take a weak. beating. Good lord. Wow. All right, I'll pass on those because, of course, they're plate and I can't use those. Thank you, because they're actually better than the pants that I have on now. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations. Let's have a look. Let's let's watch Tallahassee change his pants. Oh, no, you've got an outfit on, haven't you? We're not going to actually see them. Yep. Now, okay, so these are very interesting. I'm going to try to ignore as many of the elites as I can. Right now, by the way... Unless you want to pull everything. How do we know that they're an elite, by the way? Because they have the flourish around them. Oh, the portrait you make. Oh, I see the spikes. Yep, all right, that makes sense. Oh, they're all elites. Yeah. All right, I might just go into full-on healing mode here because, look at that, he's already 50. I'm I'm nearly dead, actually. I'm going to heal myself. Oh, that was close. Good Lord. Do you know what? These heals take such a long time to recharge, like in terms of being able to recast them. I'm trying. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be this is going to be very close for you. That's right. I use touch of life, but you're going to need to keep me topped up. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, they just take such a long time to come around again. You know, the actual cooldown on them is very long. Make sure we got wild growth happening, of course, because that will assist. And I must admit, I didn't have that on Tallahassee. That actually basically keeps you topped up, really, doesn't it? Yep. And there we go. Yeah, you can see the withering vine and the life. Yeah, look at that. That's the one we want. Um, almost dead. Ah! Oh, just managed to catch you there. Oh god, I don't think it's going to cool gonna down. Be exciting. Oh no! I couldn't. Now this is interesting, and you know what? We might have to speak with Dub about that. Look at that! It took one hit. Now, do I want to soul walk or respawn? By the way. Uh, soul walk. Soul walk. There we go. Now, okay. So, a number of things. Firstly, sorry about that, but. I honestly, the, this three, oh look, I've got three main heals, and in fact, one is still cooling down. How am I meant to heal with that? I'm wondering if we need to speak with Dub again to try and figure out if there's any way of speeding that up. I wonder if there's talents or if I'm not using it correctly. I'm honestly not sure. Interesting. I'm not certain. I mean, when the heals were coming through, they were big heals. Right, so, so you, you know, it does make sense. Possibly it's, possibly it's um, got to do with the amount of spell power that you have. So the yeah. amount of int that your character has. That's true. Because you know, that or int gives you spell power and spell crit. Ah, okay. Hmm, could be. And by the way, I noticed that... Well, I'm not sure actually. I just had to reapply all my buffs. I hope they all went off because that may have made a massive difference as well. But it's probably because they came off because we died, right? Yeah. Now, look, I've now. just noticed... That we're in front of a swirling portal here. Unless I'm mistaken, if I have a look at our map, Hamanel Fortress, is that actually the raid entrance right there? I'll see if I can pull us through. I don't think so. 
No, you do not meet the requirements for this map. Ah, so that but is yes, it. That's, that's the entrance to Hamanel. Wow, okay, that's the first time we've ever seen that. That's definitely awesome. I know why you dragged us up here. Although, I can see behind me here. What is this? I'm not going to click on it, but what's this dwarven translocator and why is it sparkling? Oh no, you need to click on it. I do? Yeah. All right. Oh, hey, hey, you disappeared. All right, okay, I'm clicking yep. on it. Clicking on it. Here we go. Oh, teleporting. What in earth shenanigans are you up to? This is the shenanigans that I'm up to. <gasps> Oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are we are we up the top of Hamanel Fortress? We certainly are. Oh my god. So this is above the entrance, and will you look at that view, folks, out there? And of course, where are we? We're in the Moonshade Highlands, and I'd imagine this is one of the best views you could possibly get. This is awesome. Why do they have this translocator here, and how come there's even more sparkling things behind us? I mean, not this. This is obviously oh. the way down, but what's all this stuff? Yeah, okay, this is the puzzle. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, let me zoom right out for a start. Look at that. Are you talking about a puzzle of the sorts? Oh, I can't remember what zone we were in, but the one where we had to teleport around like the top of a castle that time. We did one puzzle once in a zone. Is that what you mean? Like, because there's, yeah. there's a puzzle in every single zone, isn't there? There is, and we haven't done all of them yet, but this is one of the puzzles. Oh so, my God. okay. So, what is it? And what are you meant to do? Okay, so you see the thing behind us? It's like a little generator. Yeah. This one. And you see that they're like... Uh, this one here. Light blue. Yep. There's like light blue going through the tube. Yeah. Or through the pipe. We need to get the energy through there, through this puzzle, to that big bowl thing up the top. Oh. Oh, I see. So that... In other words, this thing here needs to be powered from that generator and yeah. we've got a oh so that's why these things say that they're flow regulators so i'd imagine that they're gonna allow the blue to pass through oh i get it now this is interesting yeah. so every zone has one of i oh, gosh i had no idea that they were literally puzzles why did tryon put these in here just just for fun yeah i mean we should have asked simon why he put them in because i think he designed them all wow that it's, it's such a cool idea and just something different to do okay so look i have absolutely no it, well hang on let us know for a start have you done this one before ever i have done this one before but it was a while ago right now so not, when you okay. click on the regulator right, can i can i click on one Yep. All right, I'm going to click on the right-hand side one. There we go. Oh. See how they go They go green? Oh. So you need to get them all to go green. But now they don't watching... stay that one's green. green for very long. Did I do it? I don't think we got them all in time. Or in the right sequence, possibly. Oh, hang on a minute. Were you actually clicking them? Because I only clicked the first one. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, well, I'm going to click, click again. So, you see how they go from green? Yep, red to green. So, you're manually activating... Oh, I see, right. So, what we what we need to do... So, hang on. I don't think we're going to have enough time, so we'll just let it reset. Rightio. So, it starts off on the one that I'm basically standing on at the moment. That one there? The one that I'm jumping on and... Yep, and then it goes over to here, 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 down the bottom, here, here, and back up the top, and then these should light up in sequence. Oh, so it's more a matter of, like, time. So in other words, if you basically got to click them as fast as possible. So, so we could alternate, couldn't we, so that we get to them faster? We could. So, yeah, so if you, I'll start off this one down here. Yep, I'll do this one. Yep, so go. And then you'll do the next one. I'll do that one. You'll do the next middle one. I'll do this one as soon as it turns blue. There we go. And then I'll do the final one. Oh! Uh, well, you missed a couple. So, possibly not fast enough. What I was thinking is, um, if you do the ones across the top, I'll do the ones down the bottom. Oh, so mine are these one, two, three, four along here? Yeah. So we just got to wait till everything resets and then we'll try it again. Oh, this is fun. So one, two, three, go. Four. Five. 
And then send her again. Oh! Dun, oh, look! Dun, 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 dun. Oh! Oh, hang oh, on! We do, we have, do we have to keep them going? Yeah. Oh, my God! Okay, this just gets more and more difficult, folks. But hellishly fun. Okay. okay. This is good. All right, so you across the top again, and we've got to keep it going. All right, and I guess we've got to keep it going until all of the lights have lit up there. I'm going to zoom right out. Okay, ready when you are. Yeah, going three. Oh, did I get it? Yep. All right, there's one light. Oh man, this is this is nerve wracking. God, I hope we're doing this right. So do I. Oh. So we've got to keep it completely going the whole time. Yep. There's only one there's only one light lit up. Oh, now, now all the lights have gone out. All right, I'm just going to... As soon as I see these change to the to a hand, I'm just going to right-click on it whenever that is. All right. One light. Still only one light. Oh, man. So as soon as one of these... And of course, there's lag. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, this is rough. Simon, why you make puzzles so difficult? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we, we completely suck at this, don't we? Yep. Viewers, if you have any hints or tips, yeah. we'd appreciate it. Now, I, I remember watching a good friend of ours, Croesus, do this by himself. Well, I've just realized something. You can actually adjust the flow valves from, like, they've got a huge range. So, in fact, you don't have to run around. Well, from what I can tell, let's test that theory. I'll still control my ones, you control yours. But I'm just going to do it without running. And let's see what happens. Alright, I'm just slightly out of range now. Okay, now I'm in range of everything. So, let's see what happens. So, now I'm just slightly out of range of this bottom one down there. No worries. Find your spot. We could probably handle... Oh, each side. Each side, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright. So, that bottom one on there, yeah, that's yours. Alright, here we go. Yep. Keeping an eye on them all. Trying to keep the spice flowing. Oh, now I'm out of range. Hang on. Come on, get closer. Uh, why is that one out of range? You need to be able to move just a little bit. Hang on. I'm just testing. I'm just testing my range on them all. So I'm, I'm going to let them go. Some of them are really weird with the ranges. Some of them have massive range. Yeah. But these bottom ones, for whatever reason, they got really small range. Yeah. Okay, I'm in range of them all now, so I'm not going to move. You let me know when you're ready. Uh, yep. Okay, activating mine. Whew, talk about pressure. Hey, that went well that time. Look how many lights we've got. Oh, and it takes a while for them to come back down, so if we can get it going before... Oh, we do oh, nearly. All right, this time I'm going to be quicker reactivating the flow valves. So I was a little bit slow then. Oh, yep. Okay, look at that. Three, four. We've got four dots up the top. We've got five. Oh, we're nearly there. 
This is exciting! <laughs> and of course, I guess it's designed to start coming backwards again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that top one was a bit slow, wasn't it? Alright, so if we can hopefully reignite them all before it all falls back. There we go. Boy, I wonder what the real strategy for this is. Because they're all going off at the is. same time, that's the problem. Yeah. It is everyone watching, I know you'll be screaming at the screen going, do this, do that. You know, what we'll do if we fail this time is we'll pause, folks, and once we figure out what we're meant to be doing, we'll come back, hopefully, with a successful run. That might be the best idea. Here we go, the last chance for us to get this right. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Oh, no, that was a good one. Oh, it's up to three. It's up to two, three, four, five. Oh, this could be good. I'm going to go super fast this time. All right, it's down to three, four dots, four dots, three dots, four dots. Did we gain a dot that time? I think we did. I think we did. All right, I'm going to be super fast again. One, two, three, four, done. Yeah, look at that. We've got four dots, three dots. Oh, yep, good, good, good. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, five, six. Oh, come on, seven. We just got one more to go. I reckon we'll get it this time. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, surely we've got it this time. Six, seven, eight. Oh, how many are there? Just yeah, keep looks, clicking. Yep. Yep, keep and click. Look, it looks like it's activating something up the other end there. It's like a fire's burning underneath. Oh, you missed one. Oh, I'm... Oh, you ki oh. oh, guys, that is terrible. Do you know what I reckon we should do is be nasty because we've completely run over time. I think we should leave this as a cliffhanger. Will Seraphis and Tallahassee actually get this done at all? Not sure. Maybe, maybe what you guys can do is leave us... I hate you so much right now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you guys can leave us some you hints, so much. hints and tips in the comments so that Tallahassee doesn't beat me senseless to a pulp. As soon as we stop filming, I've got a sneaking suspicion he's not going to be too happy with me. We were so close then. Oh dear. Well, there you go, folks. That's about as action-packed as you can get in an episode. Certainly hope it was as frustrating for you guys at home as it was for us here. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's kind of fun because it's just something different to do. So there we go. We'll have to see if we can actually do it in the next episode. And of course carry on our quest there of using the rune guard hammer in the meantime We need to get out of here because we're way over time Tallahassee. Thanks and uh, please go easy on me on behalf of myself a Sambo Seraphis and Tallahassee the sheriff the very mad sheriff of a rock ridge is us saying take care Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are in the world do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then and bye-bye <laughs>